so hello guys welcome to our channel so basically in this uh, video we are going to talk mm -hmm. about a simple constant current source uh, using a transistor uh, so the circuit you see here um, is basically a simple control circuitry which we use uh, with a BJT uh, the same circuit uh, can be used as a uh, constant current source so for this let us understand uh, what is the circuit how it is built so there is a simple NPN transistor 2N2222 who ha which has a um, base to emitter uh, saturation voltage of 0.6 volts and then there is a emitter resistor uh, uh, connected here and then there is a load on the collector to which there is a supply of 5 volts and then uh, to the base there is a resistance of 4.7k which is uh, controlled uh, by an external uh, control circuit uh, so generally we have a microcontroller which controls this uh, so here uh, mm, as a microcontrollers uh, have a typical voltage of 3.3 uh, which are most commonly used so we have considered as a 3.3 volt as the control for the base so this is a simple circuit so let us understand uh, how this works as a constant current source so what we are basically doing here is uh, <coughs> we applied a base voltage uh, such that uh, the emitter voltage which is nothing but uh, uh, Vb minus 0.6 uh, so V is equal to Vb minus 0.6 is the emitter voltage as long as uh, the the collector voltage that is provided is greater than this emitter voltage um, the current that is sourced to this load is always constant so let us see this through simulation so let us try to run this uh, so when we run this um, you can uh, directly let us probe the current across this load so you can see here this is around typically 2.5 to 2.6 so if I change the voltage to 6 volts here and then run this you can see there is a slight increase in the load current but uh, uh, you can say this is a tolerance uh, percentage tolerance from the previous current and then let us take 8 volts here. So if, as the voltage has drastically increased there should have been a drastic change in the load current also right which is expected. But uh, we see that still the, the current is hovering around uh, 2.6 milliamps and then let us assume we make it 12 volts. So still it is around uh, uh, 2.6 milliamps. So that means uh, you even though we vary uh, the voltage that is given uh, for a fixed load uh, the, cu the current source is constant and this is controlled by the um, BJT. So this, this is a simple operation of a um, constant uh, current uh, source uh, which, which is using a BJT. So for this is a, a circuit is built um, and uh, now if we change the base voltage definitely this current is going to change. So what we mean to say here is uh, for this uh, um, constant current source uh, the current that is sourced into the load is completely independent of the collector voltage and it depends on the uh, base voltage and basically the emitter resistance anyway for a fixed load if we vary the load definitely the current is going to change a little uh, so <coughs> this is uh, uh, how the operation of uh, uh, constant uh, current source is uh, so now let us understand this uh, through uh, calculations and see how um, uh, the um, dependency on uh, uh, collector voltage is reduced. So we have seen uh, the simulation which uh, uh, showed uh, the functionality of a constant current source. So in this uh, um, as a continuation to that uh, let us see uh, theoretically how the dependency on uh, uh, the collector voltage uh, is reduced. So for this <coughs> uh, here uh, the emitter voltage uh, basically um, is nothing but uh, VE is nothing but uh, VB minus 0.6 volts right 0.6 is nothing but uh, the VB saturation this is the base VB and this is VE so this is a major condition and one more condition is that VB must always be greater than 0.6 volt uh, 
such that um, this uh, uh, diode conducts right basically transistor is nothing but internally it's a diode so uh, it should be greater than 0.6 such that uh, there is a conduction from uh, base to emitter so vb must be greater than uh, 0.6 and then uh, v is nothing but vb minus 0.6 so these are the two first major conditions uh, which we have to understand and then if we consider the emitter current here emitter current is nothing but ie okay so ie is nothing but ve by R1. So R1 is nothing but the emitter resistor here. Uh, so if we take VE from here, this goes to VB minus 0.6 by R1. So R1 will consider as RE so that it will be much clearer, which we mean to say that it is a emitter resistor. So we know that the emitter current in a BJT is given by IE is equal to IB plus IC, which is base current plus emitter current. That means emitter current is always greater than uh, base current uh, plus uh, collector current. So for a CE configuration, beta, the gain is given by IC by IB, right? So that means IC is equal to or IB is equal to IC by beta, okay? So if we if we substitute IC by beta here plus IC and if we take IC as a, a common factor 1 plus 1 by beta right IC into 1 by 1 plus beta so if this beta is high uh, that means the gain of the transistor is high this factor can be ignored because it will be too much fractional 0.00 kind of and then Mm, this entire thing can be ignored in that case. That means for a higher gain, IE is almost equivalent to IC. So the emitter and the collector current can be considered as the same. So if we consider this statement and put it here, IC instead of IE we are putting IC. IC is nothing but mm, VB minus 0.6 by RE. Okay. So what we mean to say here is the collector current, that means the current that is flowing into the collector is depending on the base voltage which we are giving and then the emitter resistance, so RE. So these are the two factors and it is completely independent of the collector voltage as we see here. So that is why in the simulation uh, when we try to um, vary the collector voltage also, um, <coughs> the load current remained constant uh, and uh, this uh, is a simple theoretical calculation for the same now there are two scenarios here for that to be satisfied the first thing is vb must be greater than 0 0.6 the current gain uh, should be high that means beta should be high and v is calculated vb minus 0 0.6 and the third important point is vc VC must be greater than VE. So the emitter voltage, whatever the emitter voltage is that we get uh, 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 minus uh, uh, 0.6 of VB, uh, this voltage um, should be less than VC. Um, then only this particular condition is valid. So for the lower collector voltages, uh, uh, the current, the IE gets drastically down. That means uh, uh, we cannot maintain a constant current. So this is the first condition. This is uh, uh, the second condition. And then these are the three conditions. So as a, to build a constant current source, these conditions uh, mm, need to be satisfied hope uh, we help you to understand please let us know if you have any questions please comment uh, uh, or provide your suggestions in the comment box uh, please give a thumbs up to our video if you like it thank you